Speed thrills. But have you ever seen it in an ultra compact package? Welcome to a world where size doesn't define power. In a world where miniature stature hides monstrous speed. From the Honda S660's mid-engine layout to the McMurdy Spearling spoilerless aerodynamics, today we'll journey through the world of high-performance microcars, where size takes a backseat to pure speed. Honda S660 Currently ruling the roost among Kai sports cars is the Honda S660. This mid-engine rear-drive roadster echoes some aesthetic features of the NSX, but leaves behind its hybrid complexity. Despite its compact 660cc three-cylinder engine being limited to 63 horsepower due to Kai regulations, its performance when darting around town, roof down, is nothing short of thrilling. The S660 retains its appeal even post-facelift, with minimal changes made by Honda. It now offers new color options, wheel designs, and darker taillights. The interior can boast heated seats and an Alcantara-clad steering wheel, an element that makes any sports car feel speedier regardless of its size. One unique feature of the S660 that's worth noting is its Lamborghini Aventador-style air intakes placed over the driver's and passenger shoulders. This feature, along with a small window between the rear buttresses that opens to let the engine's turbo noises through, adds a layer of fun to the driving experience. A key attribute of the S660's appeal is the turbo engine derived from Honda's N-Box. With an advanced turbo geometry, it delivers enhanced initial acceleration and mid-range performance. The engine hums energetically between 3,000 and 6,000 RPM, ensuring the S660 brings an enjoyable punch to every drive. Brabus 92R Stepping into the urban supercar arena is the Brabus 92R, a revolutionary model based on the all-electric Smart EQ Fort Woke Cabrio. This high-performance machine merges a clean, eco-friendly electric powertrain with a dynamic, sporty aesthetics we've come to expect from Brabus. Equipped with a powertrain rated at 68 kilowatts or 92 horsepower, the Brabus 92R reaches a top speed of 80 miles per hour. The R92's distinct design features a host of carbon fiber elements that enhance both its visual appeal and aerodynamics, from the front fascia to the rear spoiler. The car's sporty charm is further reinforced by a unique coil-over sport suspension, which lowers the car by around 25 millimeters in a set of high-gloss black eight double-spoke Brabus Monoblock 9 alloy wheels. Under the hood, the all-electric engine allows this city sports car to zip from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a silent and exhilarating 10.9 seconds. With a range of up to 78 miles on a single battery charge, it's perfect for the city's daily hustle and bustle. The seats are adorned with the finest red Brabus leather, quilted surfaces in the ultimate ellipse design, black top stitching, and Brabus logos on both backrests. The convertible's electric soft top, also in bright red, completes the look of this urban supercar, confirming the 92R as an extraordinary blend of superior performance and ultimate driving fun. Only 50 units of this urban beast have been built, adding exclusivity to its allure. AutoZam AZ1 Mazda Speed Cruising around Monterey Bay, California, the eye-catching AutoZam AZ1 Mazda Speed, a classic red sports car, is a rare relic from Mazda's now-extinct AutoZam brand. Produced only from 1992 to 1994, the AZ1 is a distinctive presence within the Kai Car category, Japan's smallest street-legal vehicles. Its uniqueness comes not just from its gullwing doors and plastic body, but also from its sporty aesthetic within a category generally known for economy over performance. The AZ1 houses a Suzuki-engineered turbocharged three-cylinder engine delivering 63 horsepower and 63 pound-feet of torque. This considerable power for a Kai Car coupled with its nearly $12,000 price tag in the 90s, led to its rarity, with only 4,392 units ever produced. The AZ1's interior is minimalistic yet sporty, featuring white gauges with red needles, a Mazda Speed 3-spoke steering wheel, and high-bolstered seats. While the AZ1 might reach 60 miles per hour in a leisurely 10 seconds, the thrill of driving such a compact, unique car is truly exhilarating. Volkswagen Up GTI the Volkswagen UP GTI, introduced in 2018, invigorated the budget performance car scene. Its reasonable starting price of $16,612 made it an accessible hot hatch for many. Moving into 2023, the base three-door model cost $20,629, a significant increase. The appeal of the Volkswagen UP GTI lies in its simplicity and homage to classic hot hatches. No complicated features or driving modes, just a direct tactile connection to the road echoing the original Golf GTI. 
Under the hood is an upgraded turbocharged 1 liter engine offering 115 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. Combined with a 6 speed manual gearbox, this vehicle delivers a spirited drive. Inside, the Volkswagen UP GTI balances performance with practicality. Its retro inspired design complements a surprisingly spacious interior. This car not only offers a nostalgic, entertaining drive, but also an affordable and practical package, making it a rare find in the current market. Renault Twingo RS Cup The Renault Twingo RS, a manifestation of Renault's collaboration with Smart, brings a unique flair to the city car landscape. As the sportiest model in the third generation Twingo lineup, this compact vehicle features a rear mounted engine that delivers power to its rear wheels a setup that significantly influences its handling characteristics. The rear engine placement limits the Twingo RS's ability to accommodate a larger power unit, thus making it the most performance-oriented model within its range. The Twingo RS's 1598cc four-cylinder turbocharged engine is borrowed from the standard Twingo, but has been modified to deliver a power increase from 89 to 133 horsepower. Performance isn't the Twingo RS's only draw. Its price point also makes it an attractive proposition, starting at $17,581. Despite its modest output of 133 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque, this sprightly hatchback can dash from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 8 seconds, courtesy of its light 2,200 pound curb weight. Kia Picanto GT Line The Kia Picanto GT Line shatters the misconception that small cars lack advanced features. The Picanto MY23 Kia's third-generation compact car features an array of an impressive standard technology, even in its base models. From $17,082, options include a 66 or 99 horsepower 1-liter petrol engine, collision avoidance technology, dynamic stability control, and anti-skid brakes. Heated front seats, an 8-inch infotainment display, satellite navigation, and a parking camera are also standard. The 1-liter triple-pot engine is impressively smooth and free revving delivering an unexpected performance on long drives. Additional features include Android and Apple compatibility and a transferable 7-year or 100,000-mile warranty. Despite its compact size, the Picanto offers seating for five in the roomier X-Line S models, making it an excellent value-for-money choice in the compact market. Abarth 695 by Posto The Abarth 695 by Posto, often termed as the smallest supercar, holds an enviable position in the world of compact performance. Half a century after the first release of the legendary Abarth 695, this car re-emerges on the scene, embodying unmatched speed and power among its contemporaries. With a formidable 190 horsepower, 1.4T jet engine, and weighing just 2,100 pounds, the Biposto outshines in its category with a remarkable weight-to-power ratio of 5.2 kilograms per horsepower. This attribute gives it the ability to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 5.9 seconds. Importantly, the Abarth 695 by Posto is a beautiful blend of a streetcar and a race car, offering a driving experience reminiscent of the Abarth 695 Assetto Corse, a distinguished competitor on renowned European racetracks. From the racing world, by Posto offers an array of features, such as a front intercooler, an acropovic exhaust system, extreme shocks adjustable shock absorbers, and a Barth Corsa by Sabelt seats with four-point seat belts. Its aesthetic appeal is heightened by fixed front windows with polycarbonate sliding panels, along with a unique styling kit featuring bumpers, side skirts, wheel arches, and spoilers, all embellished with carbon inserts. To ensure every Biposto is as unique as its driver, a range of special kits are available for maximum customization, making it a truly intriguing vehicle. Mini Cooper JCW GP the Mini Cooper John Cooper Works GP is the fastest ever produced by Mini and offers an exhilarating driving experience akin to its cousin, the BMW M2. Every single bump and road imperfection is felt, and the speed buildup is genuinely surprising, courtesy of its stiff construction and 301 horsepower from a BMW Source 2-liter turbo 4 engine. The distinctiveness of the Mini JCW GP extends beyond its engine, featuring an 8-speed automatic gearbox, a locking differential, and additional hardware for increased stiffness such as red painted aluminum brace replacing the back seats. Furthermore, it flaunts 18-inch forged wheels wrapped with 235 or 35 hand-cooked rubber, supporting comically large 14-inch disc brakes operated by four piston calipers. 
The most notable aesthetic feature of the JCW is its wild carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP pieces. With the car's wings standing tall and proud off the roof, and the distinctive ducts on the back of the fenders replacing tire temperature, the GP emanates an aura of formidable road warrior. Despite its adorable inside quirks, like a cutesy seatbelt warning chime and a colorful infotainment light ring, the Mini GP embodies more hardcore and focused attributes than any other hot hatch available in the US today. Alpine A290 The Alpine A290 resurrects the speed of fun and engagement in electric hatchbacks. This concept vehicle, unveiled recently at an event in Southeast England, offers a driver-centered experience with a three-seat race car-inspired layout. The A290 Beta, as it is designated, showcases a design that the Renault-owned Alpine declares mirrors the look of their future production models. This lightweight vehicle boasts a dual electric motor system, but unlike typical EVs that use both axles for all-wheel drive, the A290 Beta allocates one motor to each front wheel. This innovative construction allows for refined torque vectoring, wherein power is shuffled between the front wheels based on grip and power deployment. This system promises exceptional cornering ability for this compact EV. While the concept's three-seat layout featuring raw carbon bucket seats and Sabelt racing harnesses is intriguing, the real anticipation lies in the road-ready A290's performance and aesthetics debuting in the coming years. This lightweight marvel owes its agility to an aluminum construction, a legacy of its 1960s namesake, the Alpine A110, and speaks to the brand's commitment to evolving the EV space. McMurdy Spearling Unleashing a new dimension in electric performance, the McMurdy Spearling is a pint-sized hypercar that has already made its mark by setting a record at the Goodwood Hill Climb. This compact one-seater EV, driven by ex-F1 driver Max Chilton, conquered the course in 39.08 seconds. Breaking the previous record set by the Volkswagen IDR in 2019, the Spearling is unique not just for its impressive 1,000 horsepower in a car weighing less than 2,200 pounds, but for its cutting-edge aero features, which generate significant downforce without the need for larger spoilers. This breakthrough is part of a series of enhancements, including modifications to the suspension, bodywork, brake, chassis, and an improved gearbox. With full throttle acceleration promising to be a thrill, the Spearling truly epitomizes the exciting future of EV performance. As of now, McMurdy Automotive has announced a limited run of 100 units, priced at $1 million before taxes, with customer deliveries expected in 2025. So, in the abundant universe of compact performance cars, which one would you like to drive? Will it be the high-tech allure of the Alpine or the electric thrill of the McMurdy? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Most Extreme Innovation for more innovative content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.